Thank you, Priya. Well, Congress is back in session tomorrow. So how is the Republican-led House prioritizing their week? By launching an anti-Biden-Harris offensive. They have hearings planned to target the administration on crime, the economy, and the border. Worth noting, border crossings, they are at a four-year low. Texas Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez is predicting his party will lose control of the House, saying, quote, we're going to lose it because of ourselves. Michael, truer words. True words, and I appreciate the congressman being honest about that. I mean, it, I, I, I've been saying it for over a year, they're going to lose the House, it, it, not just because of the, the narratives, you know, with the, the five seats up in New York, for example, um, and, and sort of the political landscape in that regard, but because on, in terms of the substance of issues that House members want to run on in their districts, um, and, and believe it or not, folks, a lot of a lot of House members, that's what they want to do. Can I jump in there? Because sure, I, want, no, I want to read please. you some of what Gonzalez said. He said, people just want their lives to be better. They want to feel safe in their communities. That's they it. want their kids to feel safe in school. They want more money in their pockets. These are real issues, yet the House Republicans continue to get in their own way. And I worry if we stay in the spot, we're going to be in the They market. have laid out nothing on all of those points. And so someone like Congressman Gonzalez is sitting there going, what, I go to a town hall, what am I going to say when I get the incoming from my constituents who are, Simone, at, talking about what you were saying with, with, uh, with Sonnenfeld, Professor Sonnenfeld, about the economy. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm feeling. I'm still feeling the pressure on gas prices. I'm still feeling a little uneasy because, as you noted, Alicia, I go and I bought five items at the grocery store, and at the cost was like for 40 items at the grocery store. Republicans don't have an answer to that. They want to trump up, you know, Hunter Biden crazy. They want to investigate Joe Biden for impeachment instead of laying out a profound governing strategy mm -hmm. to put up against what Kamala Harris is going to be spelling out to the country on a Tuesday night. I mean, literally doing their jobs. Like, people, people forget because, you know, memory is a short, news cycle long. Uh, but the way in which Democrats took back to the House while Donald Trump was president is they literally ran on put a check on Trump. Elect people who will do their jobs. These Republicans in Congress have not done their jobs. They're not working for you. We will work for you. Sound familiar to something similar to what you're hearing from uh, Vice President Harris on, on her campaign? I will fight for you. Donald Trump fights for himself. Uh, the, the House is, the, you know, members of Congress, House and Senate, very important. I mean, literally, they, they, they fund the government. There are some things that they must do, um, some basic functions of the job. And Politico has reporting about this stopgap funding bill and non-citizen voting, yes. okay? Yeah. This is from Friday. Uh, so House Republicans, they did unveil their stopgap funding plan because, you know, they must fund the government. But Speaker Mike Johnson wants to put the bill on the floor on Wednesday in an effort to squeeze Democrats on non-citizen voting, which is already banned in federal elections, but is still a top Republican focus heading into peak campaign season. But the GOP spending plan is all but doomed in the Democratic-controlled Senate. The, the government must be funded. Government funding runs out in September this month, so they must act. The stopgap funding plan that Republicans have put forward um, will kick the can down the road and fund the government so for, the you know, oh. so after election. I think it's about March, mm -hmm. um, if I'm, if I'm c correct, but people in my ear can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but they're going to put in, essentially, a poison pill to say, look, we're also going to attach this non-citizen voting can, legislation can, can, to can, it. To your point real quick on that, let's just be very clear. It is against the law if you are not a citizen of the United States to vote in any election, period. So what the Republicans are doing is just political BS. And it is to gum up the work and to try to embarrass Kamala Harris, House Democrats. They think that's how they keep the House. Mm -hmm. But the law is already very clearly stated and, and, and well known that if you're not a citizen, you cannot vote. So all of what you're about to hear from Republicans on Wednesday is political BS. Well, that's what we call a mic drop moment, okay? Thank